Hello folks. Well you know I know there are many other ways to make prop balancers and I have even a few that I purchased from hobby stores myself. But those missing or needing parts or not accurate I needed one right away that was very accurate for my one bladed prop experiments. And since so many people asked how I balance the props and rotor blades I'm going to show you the super sensitive blade balancer I made from old brushless motors. Because a lot of people just go out and buy everything they need where I find a certain beauty in making my own stuff. So here's how my balancer works and also you can see how I use it and I show a few tips of how to balance. This is a very easy, simple, accurate way to make a prop balancer. Just remove your burned out magnets, put the motor back together and you can mount your props and everything right back on there and fix them. I've done it with several different motors and uh, sizes. It really works great for when I'm making my one bladed props and I need to get accurate balance. All I have to do is twist the, the uh, coils right off the mount. There we go. I'm going to show you on this one for example, you take off the magnetic end and then you take your windings out. Okay, and you go ahead and just put that back in like this and what I did was grind this off so I could put this in my vise and hold that vertically. Then, I'm using Goo Gone get these stupid stickers off that the hobby shops always seem to put on there. By the way, if you put a hole in the top of your Goo Gone bottle like this, that way when you knock it over you won't spill it all at once, which I've learned from experience. Okay, now all then all you have to do is I'm using a tapered nut put on here and I can just put this on. So by using the motor shaft it's pretty easy to add the same prop adapter that you use on your regular plane. This also gives good fit as any slop in the shaft hole also makes for unbalanced. And now I let go see the heavy side heavy side, I mean this one makes a great prop balancer. And you can see with this sticker, let's go ahead and take this sticker off, we're going to see how good this prop is all on its own. And with the weight of the magnets inside the empty casing, it gives good mass for precision balancing. It stops in a different place every time it's balanced. When I balance my rotor blades, I have a complete rotor head setup that I mount sideways on my helicopter training test stand. So that's how I do the rotor blades. Okay, as long as we're talking about balancing, uh, I'm going to show you. Always want to use just a vinyl, good vinyl electrical tape, and you fold it over the leading edge of the prop. And I usually start in the middle here, and that way, see that's the heavy side now it's balanced but I'm just showing you what that little piece of tape will do to make that difference. Uh, the further out you put it the more the weight but I usually start in the middle and I like to keep it here it won't blow off while it's running and that's it. This is called static balancing. Okay once you get it close you need to spin it on the actual motor. Uh, and just add tape to get rid of the vibration. See, by leaving a little slop in here, there's absolutely no friction either, only the bearings. Okay, see this blade is slightly heavy on the bottom, so I'm going to put a little bit of piece of tape on the top. Okay, I always start in the middle. Let's try this piece. I'm going to put it over the leading edge so the wind blows this way. Now let's see what happens. Still needs a tiny bit more. So, let's cut another little piece. Too heavy. So we have to take that piece off that down. So I'm going to cut that. Let's see how that goes. 
If I really want tight balancing, I'll put a vibrator motor on it so it's vibrating at high frequency all the time. Also keeps the bearings loose. Perfect. See, because of the mass, you can get a really smooth bearing set up here. Get a perfect balance every time. You know, once I find out how much tape I actually need, then I cut it out of just one piece. And usually I use black tape to match the prop. I know there are a ton of ways to do this, but this is just my way. Thought I'd show you how I did it and without using extra money. Well, for you do-it-yourselfers, I hope this inspired you a little bit. Works pretty good for me. Something I built right on the spur of the moment when I needed something right now. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching and happy flying.